The time has come for the main event of the evening on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Ariel Lagami with Phoenix Carnavali ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom in Phoenix. It's time to watch Super Elvis Gashi take on the Black Panther, Chris Lacusa, in a fight that has been several months in the making. Do you have anybody in mind for your next fight? I want Lacusa for title fight. I want the promoter to give me a chance for title fight. I think I deserve it. I think you do too. So that was back on October the 14th after Gashi's last victory, which came against Michael Stevens right here at the Broad Street Ballroom. And at the moment, Phoenix, it looked like maybe there's some animosity between the two fighters, but not the case at all. No, actually, it's the opposite. By Elvis calling out Chris, it was actually a compliment. Elvis Gashi wants to continue this undefeated record, and he believes that Chris Glacusa is such a good fighter that by beating him, he will really legitimize his career. So it's an interesting fight. There is no animosity between the two. They really like each other. They are friendly with each other. They just both respect each other's fighting styles, and they think not only will this be a good matchup for their career, but it's going to be a great matchup for the fans. Chris Lacusa comes in at 12-1-1, and, and Gashi comes in at a perfect 17-0, and he will continue the trend of fighting in Glory Rules matches. Super Elvis only fights under Glory Rules. Chris Lacusa has agreed to that, and we'll see how the action unfolds right now on the main event on Friday Night Fights. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good evening and welcome to the Broad Street Ballroom for the Friday Night Fights Boy Time main event of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, Amazing Thailand, Scratch DJ Academy, Lucky Strike, Fairtex, and the Super Rare Shop with Budweiser. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sanctioned by the WKA President in Attendance, Brian Crenshaw. Your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds scheduled in the 160-pound weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he wears black trunks. He weighed in at 158.6 pounds. His record, a perfect one. 17 fights, 17 victories. Representing the Westchester Fight Club, fighting out of the Bronx, New York, Elvis Super Gashi. Gashi. And his opponent across the ring, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He was black with yellow trim. He weighed in at 160.2 pounds. His record, 13 victories, only one defeat. He has one draw. He represents Anderson's martial arts from the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris, the Black Panther, Lucusa. Lucusa. All right, gentlemen, it's been a bit. You got instructions in the dressing room on the next clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. The man that's how I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. The moment has arrived. The grudge match ready to commence. Super Elvis Gashi puts that perfect record on the line once again against Chris Lacusa, a.k.a. the Black Panther. This crowd's been waiting all night at the Broad Street Ballroom, and here we go. Round number one of a Schedule 3 is underway, and immediately Lacusa shoved back by Super Elvis. There's some power in both of these athletes. Really sharp kicks by both of them. Two seasoned pros going at it here. Glory rules matchup, no elbows. Minimal clinching as well. Lacusa looks very in shape for this fight. He's trained extremely hard for it. He brought in uh, Southpaws to train with during all of his sparring sessions. Prior to his last fight against Justin Greskowitz, Lacusa came in pretty well overweight. Not this time. Yeah, he was really diligent on cutting weight this time around. He took his time. He was patient with it, which means we might see him a little bit more fluid, a little bit more crisp in this fight uh, since he didn't have to worry about cutting so uh, heavily this time around. 
Gashi keeping him in a corner here. Lacusa bringing himself back to the center of the ring. Right hand staggered Lacusa momentarily. It's a 160-pound fight, a fight, a super middleweight bout. One thing we know about Gashi is he doesn't like to waste his punches or waste his energy. He, he'll, he'll go at you when he feels like he sees an availability. Lacusa. And again, this is glory rules, so Wagner breaks up the clinch. Lacusa actually used the ropes to propel himself into a kick a few moments ago. Gashi comes in at 17-0. Lacusa 12-1-1. Lacusa in the black and yellow trunks. Gashi wearing the black with the skull and crossbones. Straight left lands for Super Elvis. Another left hand lands for Elvis. Oh, Elvis is on the attack right now. Lands another overhand right. And Lacusa can't believe he's getting the count from the Chris the Cannon Wagner. He did lose his balance, but it was a punch that threw him off the balance. So. The canvas, so that was good enough. Super Elvis tries the leg kick, comes up empty, now goes to the body. Final minute of round one. Action packed fight so far. This is our main event on Friday Night Fights. Brought to you by Mohegan Sun. Ariel Lagami with Phoenix Carnavali, ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom. We've reached a fever pitch here. I'm wondering why Lacusa is tentative to throw his hands and set his kicks up. That time it's a slip as Gashi bears down on Lacusa. Right hand and a left right behind it from Super Elvis. Lacusa finds a home with the right hand up top. And Gashi will shove Lacusa in the face down to the ground. Final seconds here of round number one. Yeah, Gashi is bullying. He's, he's definitely shoving him. He's imposing his, his strength and his power on him. Interesting first round. So Gashi seems to have the majority of the crowd behind him here. But an exciting first round, Gashi trying to assert his dominance. Again, he has that perfect record, 17 and 0 coming in. I also want to thank Lucky Strike, Spare Nothing, Mohegan Sun, a world of play. Budweiser. Lacusa 12-1-1. He's got Dan Anderson in his corner. There's Primo Bellarosa. Talking to Super Elvis Gashi. Gashi originally from Kosovo. Now fights out of New York. And Vision Quest Muay Thai at the Westchester Fight Club. Chris Lacusa used to be in Squared Circle, New York, but now he trains under Dan Anderson in Anderson's martial arts. Yeah, he said that the biggest improvement he's seen in Anderson's was his boxing, but I, I, I don't see him using it here. Lacusa in the black and yellow trunks. Gashi wearing black with the skull and crossbones on the right thigh. Big there right he goes, use a big right hand. His good head movement this by Gashi. This is called, and then he covered up nicely as well. Looping right hand for Lacusa. Two fighters broken up by Chris Wagner. Inside leg kick for Gashi. Left hand pushes Lacusa back. Nice, another left. left hand. Another, and the left follow with a right hook by Gashi. Gashi tries the knee inside. Wagner breaks him up. Fun fight so far. We're not even halfway done. This is Friday Night Fights, the main event. Lakusa and Gashi. A three round professional fight. Left hand got in there for Lakusa. Gashi came up empty on the uppercut. Yeah, Lacusa has an opportunity to really let, let his hands go here. Because of Gashi's hand position, he could throw some uppercuts. That is also ruled a slip. You can see, I mean, it's the end of the night. This The, the ring is slippery. Nice uh, kick to the, the the right leg of Lacusa. Big right hand from the Black Panther. Gashi was actually trying to touch the back leg of Lacusa. Yeah. There he does it again. Another another left-legged kick. Yeah, when you're going, going to that back leg, it really 
he's using his ability to cut his distance, to step out, to throw his leg across both legs of Lacusa. It also means that your head is towards the outside, so you are away from punches, especially when you're a southpaw. That was a nice left to the body by Agashi in that exchange. Again, Gashi goes after that back leg of the Black Panther. Both fighters maybe a little bit gassed, both reaching. Final 30 seconds of round two, good teep from Gashi. Face the Superman punch, one of yes. Super Elvis's favorites. Oh, there we go, there's a big right hand that lands by Lukusa. Final 10 seconds of round two. Nice job by Lacusa to duck out of the way and then Lacusa slips down again. This canvas starting to give both fighters some trouble. We're through two rounds. Well, he's almost over committing to his technique sometimes. He's looking for bombs. What he needs to do is just score a little bit here. He needs to start scoring some punches and use that to set up his powerful kicks. This is Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, everybody. So glad you could be with us. You're watching the main event of the evening. Super Elvis Gossi taking on Chris Lacusa, AKA the Black Panther. My name's Ariel Lagami. Joining me is Phoenix Carnavale from ringside. We had Gavin Van Black on the microphone as well a bit earlier. And of course, the great Friday Night Fights production team bringing us all the sights and sounds from the Broad Street Ballroom. Quick hello to our sponsors, Lucky Strike, Budweiser, the Brooklyn Athletic Club, Fairtex, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, Fitness NYC, and the Scratch DJ Academy, as well as Mohegan Sun, our title sponsor. So here we go, one round left on Friday Night Fights. Let's see how it turns out. Lakusa and Gashi, back to work. A couple of big left legs from Gashi. Body shot by Gashi. Like I said, he, he is looking for huge, huge shots here. What he really has to do is he's overcommitting to his punches a little bit. He's got to score. He's got to use his punches to possibly set up his kicks to bring himself on the inside. Right now, he, you know, he's looking for a huge shot being that this is the third round, but he has to stay busy as well. Lacusa, laser focus, coming forward. Now we'll square up with Super Elvis. Fires the straight right hand, Super, got, Super Elvis sticks his tongue out and fires a left with a retort. A nice big right return by Lacusa. Black Panther coming forward again, Gashi ducking out of the way. Chris Lacusa used to go by Super Swiss because he spent a lot of time in Switzerland after being born in the Congo, but now he is the Black Panther. A little over one minute gone by in round three. Oh, big left big hand left for Super hand Elvis. Lands. Lacusa, and Lacusa mixing up those punches and bunches is what he needs to do. Right hand lands for Lacusa. Gashi comes back with a combo and the two men tie up briefly. Remember, this is glory rules. Nice knee inside by Gashi. Chris Wagner breaks him up. Left hand for Gashi, Ooh. and down goes Lakusa. <laughs> Lakusa jumps right back up, but he was dazed. Lacusa Wagner says giving him another slip. standing eight count. Lakusa says slip. Chris Wagner says knockdown. This is a very close fight. That could be the difference. Gashi has Lakusa staggered up against the ropes. Another big left hand lands. And down goes Lakusa again. And the Black Panther getting right back up to his feet. But Chris Wagner must administer the count. Under 30 seconds remaining. Super Elvis trying to close the show. Left leg lands up top. Spinning back kick lands. And he stuck a left hand in as Lacusa was coming forward with the kick.
10 seconds left. A tremendous pro bout coming down to the wire. Lakusa Ngashi going the distance on Friday Night Fights. Ooh. Again, you know, the, the, the trips and the swips, whether it was a slip or not, it was due to punches that dropped him to the canvas. So it wasn't necessarily a knockdown, but it was him being off balance and being hit. And that was Wagner's call. Well, a thrilling fight with a dramatic conclusion in the main event on Friday Night Fights brought to you by Mohegan Sun. Let's quickly say thank you to all of our fans in attendance here at the Broad Street Ballroom and our viewers on social media, YouTube, and FridayNightFights.com as well. And most of all, thank you to the fighters for putting that incredible fighting spirit on display and putting it all on the line. And no better example of that than the main event we just saw, Gashi and Lakusa. The president of Friday Night Fights is Justin Blair. The operations director is Eddie Marini. The director of events is Lauren Gilbert. Our Friday Night Fights crew consists of producer Eric Brody, Brody technical director Freddy Sobranis. Peter Frelick is off tonight. Our camera crew, Kevin Talbot, Victoria Harrington, and Lee Hosang. We thank them for their tremendous work this evening on a fun night of action from downtown New York. And we have one bit of business left to attend to the official announcement of the winner between Gashi and Lakusa. David Diamante has the scorecards. Here we go. We go to the scorecards. All three judges scored this contest 30 to 24. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated, Elvis Super Gashi. Super Elvis Gashi keeps that perfect record intact. A unanimous decision victory over Chris Lacusa Phoenix. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say the last three fights, it was just about powerhouses. You know, it was really about just these guys just coming out and going for the gold. Um, Elvis Gashi again, look at this record, 18-0. When, when does he, you know, wh what does he do? He's just really sort of clearing house here. Uh, in New York, and he's an exciting fighter. I, I'm, I'm anxious to see what's next for him. The flag of Kosovo will fly high in New York City tonight. Super Elvis Gashi keeps his perfect record intact. For my broadcast partners, Phoenix Carnavalli and Gavin Van Vlack, my name's Ari Elagami. We'll see you next time on Friday Night Fights.